Welcome back to College Hill Farm. Well, this morning uh, I had some questions about uh, how to get rid of groundhogs. Well, the truth is, around your homestead, if you're going to homestead, you've got to have the tools to maintain your wildlife because your wildlife will get out of hand. Recently I showed a video called Barbaric where... I did a section about uh, raccoons in my corn. Well, for raccoons, I have found... Now, I used to trap, okay? I used to trap when I was uh, 14 years old. I got my first box trap when I was about nine. But when I was 14 years old, I used leg hole traps, and I had a trap line, and I skinned and sold furs. That was the way I made a little extra money in my teen years. Now, when I got about 20, I quit using leg hole traps. But about that time, the value of furs dropped out. There was none. So I quit doing that. But on your homestead, you don't need a leg hole trap. I'm just going to tell you right up front, you don't need a leg hole trap. Uh, it's not that I think that they're too cruel or, or nothing like that. You just don't need them. They're not necessary. Now, for raccoons, the best trap I've ever ever used is this. It's a box trap, okay? And you can see where mine's got dirt all in it. Where from the last raccoon, they dig up the dirt trying to get out. Uh, you can buy these for about $35 or $40. Uh, when you, If you go to Tractor Supply, they sell a pair with this large one and then a small one for trapping rabbits and that kind of thing squirrels okay but that's not the only trap you need okay it's not the only thing so you also need some other traps now a groundhog is one of those things that groundhogs love cantaloupe if you can get them used to eating it but if they're not used to eating it they won't try it okay and if it's good, lush, green property you have, and you have plenty of nice brassicas for them to eat, they would rather eat those. Okay? They won't touch that cantaloupe. So what you need to do is be out in the evening and follow them back to their den. And in the evening, then, you use one of these. Okay? Uh, there's a whole bunch of companies that make them. Uh, Conabare, uh, Duke, uh, it doesn't matter who's that, who makes them. I'll let mine get a little rusty over the winter. I usually oil them up good over the winter because I know that I'm going to have to use them sometime during the year. Now, I only have to pull these out every couple of years because once you control the groundhogs, it takes them a few years to repopulate. But they come back. It's just, okay, you just have to control them on your property. Now, this is a 220 collar bear. It is sufficient for raccoons, uh, possums, uh, groundhogs. But now, all I use it for is groundhogs. That's it. I use this for groundhogs in a den set. Okay? And some people said, well, how do you keep your cats out of it? Or your dogs? Well, what you do is when this is set... And it's set so that when you go to the den, you set this over the mouth of the den where the groundhog can't do nothing but come back up through here. And then you just take a tote, okay? I like to use clear totes because you can see and the groundhog can see the light coming out and this comes right out. Groundhogs only put one, one entrance to their burrow. They're not like prairie dogs. They don't have 15 entrances around. They generally have one entrance in that burrow. And you wait till nightfall. You wait till night. And then I come out in the about 10 o'clock at night, set this trap, and then cover it with a, with a tote. That way, cats, dogs, nothing else can get into it. Only thing can get into it is that groundhog coming out of the burrow. Okay? A 220, Duke, Conabare, whatever you want to call it, body hole trap. All right, most of the time it hits them around the neck and they're always deceased. 
when you come to get them out, okay? Now, then there's uh, problems with squirrels. Some people have real problems with squirrels. You can have problems with squirrels getting in your attic and all kinds of stuff. And uh, squirrels can really be a pain. This is a 110 counter bear, Duke, whatever. This is a 110 trap. Okay, it sets, and you can set it right over the hole where the squirrel's going in and out. Or whatever it is, a mink, a weasel, uh, you know. Now, what if the squirrels are causing other damage, like they're damaging your garden? Then all you want to do is just make a square box about, oh, two foot long, and you put corn back in the back of that box, and then you just hang that box on the side of a tree. And you put this trap at the entrance so that they have to go through the trap to get to the corn. Leave the corn setting out, setting for a couple days, and leave this unsprung, just sitting there. Leave it sprung, sitting there, so that they can go in and out and find that corn easy. And once they find the corn, the dry corn, use dry corn, once they find that dry corn, they're going to go in and out of there like nobody's business. And you can set this, go out in the morning real early after the squirrels have come out, which they come out at daylight. You come out a little after daylight, you can get one out, set it again, come back about 9 o'clock, you're liable to have another, set it again, you're liable to have another. Okay, it's just real quick and it gets rid of your squirrel problems. This is also great if you've got chickens and you're having problems with a mink or a weasel. Uh, the box trap's best for a possum, but if you're having problems with a mink or a weasel, the same set works for them. I like to go catch a sun granny out of the creek and put it back in the box and set that on the ground beside your chicken coop and put uh, you can also put chicken entrails, uh, a turkey neck, you know, if you're making a turkey, take that turkey neck and put it back in there, drives the manks and weasels crazy, and they will go right in there to get them, and this should be set to opening, they'll smell that, and you won't have any mink or weasel problems in short order, okay, so be prepared for what comes up on your homestead, and yes, uh, there, you can trap rabbits. That little box trap is okay for trapping rabbits. But you want to know the truth? A 410 is easier to take care of rabbits, okay? The rabbits will get out there where you can see them and just be sitting there and there it is in your garden. But I don't have problems with rabbits. I keep wide margins and, and plenty of food and clover and that kind of stuff. And they leave my garden alone. But groundhogs, they're the kind of creature that will dig up holes in your barn. They'll dig holes at, around the foundation of your house. They'll cause all kinds of damage. And you can't let them do that. So you have to do something about them. And nobody's going to come out on your homestead and trap a groundhog. The fur is absolutely worthless. Okay? Now, young groundhog's a good meal. It's a fine meal. Okay? My grandma used to... My great-grandma used to make the best possum in the world. It'd melt in your mouth with taters and sweet potatoes. and Okay? So, food. Those things are food. I love I love raccoon. Raccoon is a, it's like stringy beef. I love it in a beef stew. It makes a great beef stew. It's real greasy, and it adds a lot of flavor to a beef stew. So, if you are going to homestead a 110... Conner bear, a 220 conner bear, and a large box trap. That's what you need to deter the things on your homestead. That'll even work on a fox. Okay? It'll even work on a fox. You have to give him a place where he can be told in, but it'll even work on a fox. Okay? So that's the ugly truth about homesteading is you have to control your wildlife. You have to control your wildlife. All right, now if you like this stuff, this homesteading, do-it-yourself kind of thing, be certain to come on out to the channel and subscribe. 
We do this homestead stuff every week, sometimes once, sometimes five videos. Just depends on what's going on in the homestead that week. Now, if you hit the little bell that's right up here, it'll notify you when we upload a video. We upload on Sundays, Tuesdays, and Thursdays. Now, time for me to get on to the next thing and get rid of a groundhog that's dug a hole right by my front porch. Love y'all.